Hey, my name is Delaney Neville and I am doing my project on contemporary art on Jenny Seville. Jenny Seville is a British artist. Um, the quote I have here says, human perception of the body is so acute and knowledgeable that the small hint of a body can trigger recognition. So a lot of her work was based on human body forms and making them more realistic and less like what the media shows us. That goes into a lot of her concern and focus. She works with the perception of the body. Her interests are focused on imperfections of the flesh and fighting against societal in implications and taboos and things that people are afraid of. She wanted to fight the expectation that bodies needed to be small and perfect and put some of these like quote unquote flaws, but they're not actually flaws. Um, into her art. And you can see that in this painting right here. This is propped. Um, this was actually one of her most famous pieces of art. It was done in 1992. Um, and she was part of the British Artists Group. Um, as for her materials, she works almost primarily with oil paints and she applies them in thick, heavy layers with these like smears and streaks. Um, she does that when she's working in realism to get more of like a flesh feel, the thick, like textured feeling of flesh, as well as when she's doing in more of her current work, like this piece here, which is Second Nature. It was made in 2020. In her current work, she's trying to make it more um, movement and bright and her creations to have a difference between living bodies. As far as my assessment for her, um, I think she's a great artist. I think she's really well known. Um, She's tackled a lot of problems in media about societal beauty standards, which can be so incredibly detrimental for eating disorders and just standards of any human care. Um, she uses her paintings to create, create art of real people and real bodies, things that people will usually call flaws or uncomfortable. That kind of art can resonate with a lot of people, especially with the current body positivity movement being as big as it is. Um, and seeing those bodies for real and what they actually look like in these beautiful paintings it's important and i think that her work does that really well as for some of the interesting things about her um she was part of the young british artists group which was really big in the 80s and 90s uh, that was where she got her foothold around that time she also went to go study at the glasgow school of art in scotland and the university in cincinnati being from britain i think going to different countries was really helpful for her art career she got much more well-rounded experience to put into her art and her products academic article and the rest are my regular citations thank you